All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right in these times that we're in. Now, today I want to discuss about being carnal, living in the flesh. You know, in this walk with God and this spiritual journey, we have a daily battle and daily, you know, struggle with our daily lives and our personal problems and our habits and things that we deal with on a daily basis. And one thing about our flesh is that we're we're full of sin by nature, um, all due to Adam and his choices and it has fallen upon us, men and women. And we have our own choices. We have our free will. Uh, we have our own decisions and discussion about how we go about things. And it's interesting because if we're men and women of God, we're supposed to move in the spirit, do things by the spirit, be led by the spirit and worship God in truth and spirit. But a lot of times your pride can get in the way. Your flesh can get in the way. Um, leaning on your own understanding could get in your way. And the flesh is corrupt by nature. The, the flesh is flawed. You know what I mean? That's why we can't be obsessed with how we go about things, our own opinion and stuff, and you know our own our own habits or whatnot. Because the flesh and the spirit, it always kind of goes piggyback. It always go. Um, it's a daily battle. So it's important for us that we always live in the spirit and move by the spirit. And it's better to always to not get too caught up with the flesh because that's how most of us sin most of the time. Basically, it's our flesh that causes that. You know. Our carnal thinking, you know, being lustful, envy, jealousy, that all comes from the flesh. That doesn't come from the spirit. So it's very important for us that we really move by the spirit and that we also have the fruit of the spirit, of course, which is joy, kindness, peace, you know, long suffering, patience, uh, self-control, things like that. You know, self-control and discipline is the best way to not let your flesh get in the way of anything. We got to have a strong willpower and strong might. When we're living our everyday lives and doing right and making better choices for ourselves and not doing harm to others, you know. So I just want to discuss about being carnal and living in the flesh. I want to read some scriptures about it and then just go from there. The book of Second Peter, chapter two, verse 13 through 16. Suffering wrong as the wages of doing wrong. They count it as pleasure to revel in the daytime. They are stains and blemishes. Reveling in their deceptions as they carouse with you, having eyes full of adultery that never cease from sin, enticing unstable souls, having a heart trained in greed, accursed children, forsaking the right way they have gone astray, having followed the way of Balaam, the son of Beor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but he received a rebuke for his own transgression, for a mute donkey, speaking with the voice of a man, restrained the madness of the prophet. The book of 1 John chapter 2 verse 16 For all that is in the world The lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes And the boastful pride full of life Is not from the Father but is from the world The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 29 through 31 But this I say brethren The time has been shortened so that from now on Those who have wives should be as though they had none And those who weep as though they did not weep And those who rejoice as though they did not rejoice and those who buy as those who did not possess, and those who use the world as though they did not make full use of it, for the form of this world is passing away. The book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 3, For you are still fleshly, for since then there is jealousy and strife among you. Are you not fleshly and are you not walking like mere men? The book of Romans chapter 8 verse 5. For those who are according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who are according to the spirit, the things of the spirit. The book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 13. For you were called to freedom, brethren. Only do not turn your freedom into opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 2 through 7. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, revelers, dis disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, irreconcilable, irreconcilable, malicious gossips, without self-control, brutal, haters of good, treacherous, reckless, conceited lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, holding to a form of godliness although they have denied its power. Avoid such men as these, for among them are those who enter the households of captive 
Captivate weak women weighed down with sins, led on by various impulses, always learning and never being able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Let's see the book of Romans chapter 7 verse 11 through 14. For sin taking an opportunity through the commandment deceived me and through it killed me. So then the law is holy and the commandment is holy and righteous and good. Therefore did that which was good become a cause of death for me? May it never be. Rather it was sin in order that it might be shown to be sin by effecting my death through that which is good. So that through the commandment sin would become utterly sinful. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am of the flesh, sold into bondage to sin. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 1 through 4. And I, brethren, could not speak to you as to spiritual men, but as to men of flesh, as to infants in Christ. I gave you milk to drink, not solid food, for you are not able yet to receive it. Indeed, even now, you are not yet able, for you are still fleshly. For since there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not fleshly? Are you not walking like mere men? For when one says, I am of Paul, and another says, I am of Apollos, are you not of mere men? The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 6 through 7. For the mindset on the flesh is death, but the mindset on the spirit is life and peace. Because the mindset on the flesh is hostile towards God, for it does not subject itself to the law of God, for it is not even able to do so. So as you can see right there, the flesh is very dangerous. It's very powerful living that way. Um, we really have to have self-control and really have discipline and really, you know, deal with our temptations the right way, really deal with our urges the right way. And, um, you know, bind it up, man, walk in strength and power and sound and a sound mind and love, you know, living in the flesh can mess up your relationship with God. It can mess up your own personal life. And it could also mess up your life around others because sin is contagious. You know, um, jealousy is contagious. Envy, strife, those things are contagious. They spread like wildfire. So we have to really contain ourselves. We have to have a lot of discipline and composure. We're supposed to walk in peace and love, you know. And only the spirit allows us to do that because the flesh is full of hate, is full of corruption, is full of malice and all type of evil stuff, man. So we have to stop being carnal. We have to stop being worldly and we have to be more in the spirit. Um, because we worship God in truth and spirit, um, not in the not in the flesh and not in lies. And another thing as well is that, you know, walking with God, man, everything about it is spiritual. You know what I mean? Despite all of our bad choices and everything that we've done in our lives, God still loves us and God still wants to use us. But we have to be willing. We got to have self control. We got to have discipline. We got to be obedient, and we got to really move in the spirit. You know what I mean? Because that flesh is full of pride. You know, it's full of malice. And remember, the flesh is hostile towards God. Remember, the flesh cannot uh, subdue to the law of God. It cannot uh, be able to comp comprehend with it. So, just want to discuss about that. Because this world that we live in today, it's super carnal, super worldly, super fleshly. You know what I mean? And it's more harder for people to really walk with God and stay in the faith and fight the good fight. Because... People are strangled by their own sins. People are under bondage from their own lust. You know what I'm saying? And all of us battle with it on a daily basis. We all have our challenges. Um, that's why we got to stay prayed up. Not get too caught with temptation. You know, really following the law of God, man. And moving in the spirit. Because this world is so, like, fleshly. As far as the music, how sex sells, how you see sex all over TV and movies and sexual immorality. Um... You know, everything is just so fleshly. You know, I mean, nothing out here glorifies God or give God praise. You know, everything is about self-worship and self and, and you know, self-infatuation and idol worship. You know what I mean? And um, it's time for us to really be more spiritual, not carnal. You know, we're not supposed to follow the world. The world's supposed to follow us. So we got to be good examples and really hold it down inside out. You know what I mean? So I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that. You get baptized. I pray that you start your life over for the Lord. I pray that things get better for you and that your life changes forever. You know what I'm saying? So let us be more spiritual. Stop being carnal. Let's live in the spirit and not in the flesh. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.